Hey lovelies, it's me Kikos and welcome to another part of my Runaway Teen Challenge. So currently Ivy is feeling really freaking sad. Now I've played a few days off camera and in those days we did some harvesting and not a lot really happened. In terms of how Ivy has been feeling, she's been feeling really depressed and sad. She's been missing her mother and she's been feeling really homesick. As you guys can see, she's just so bored. She's uncomfortable. And she's just missing her mother like you guys wouldn't believe. She misses her mother how she used to be and, and, and she's just missing her. Look at that lip though, so sad. And it's been really sad. She's been crying. She's been watching some TV to try and occupy herself. She's been trying to cook and nothing's going right for her. The money side of things aren't all that great for Ivy right now. But for the most part, she's just been feeling really freaking sad. So I need her to go to sleep once she's finished her cereal or whatever she's having. And uh, we'll zoom on Zoom straight through the night and we'll catch up with Ivy in the morning when she wakes up. Okay, so good morning, guys. It is currently 6 in the morning. Ivy's just woken up. And she is going to possibly um, want to have something to eat and get some social up. So she's complaining that her bed is pretty... Um, pretty cheap and it's just really sore for her um so she yeah, she has got the mood of being sad just because she misses her mother so freaking much you guys she misses her mom she misses her old room she misses everything about being at home because she is a really I will say she is a very family orientated person. She loves her family, but she just doesn't like the way she was treated. That's why she ran away, as I said before, in the previous parts. So that is why Ivy is feeling pretty sad. And I feel like it's breaking my freaking heart, guys. It's it's breaking my heart. Um, we only have 80 simoleons. Things aren't going um, to plan right now. But we're going to head on out today um, while it's still morning. And uh, we're going to do harvesting again. You guys are probably saying again. Yes, again. Because we need the simoleons. Um, today, I'm not going to focus on harvesting all that much, though. Because Ivy can now do really great paintings that will actually provide a lot of simoleons. More simoleons than, say, if we were to harvest all day, every day, you know? So we definitely need to talk to somebody. Uh, we need to find somebody. Uh, we need to talk to someone. And we need to upgrade the house because it's looking pretty dang bland. And she's getting pretty pretty depressed in this building because it's like a four-wall blank thing. And it's, it's not the best looking thing. Who's this guy? So it's not the best thing that you ever did see, but at least it's something. So she's just going to run on back home. And um, yeah, she's going to just start harvesting. Now she needs to use the toilet so she can run on inside and do that. And possibly take a thoughtful shower while she's there. Because I want her to start feeling inspired while um, she does her paintings and things. Um, which we'll do a little bit today. So yeah, she's feeling more happy than she has in the last few days. I will say that this is the best she's felt. Uh, which is awesome. Cool, so she's just finishing up in that shower. And then we're going to come over here and we are going to do a classic large. So it is currently Saturday and um, we probably want to get out and socialize for a little bit as well. Because we are feeling quite isolated in our little house here. There's no one around that we can speak to. Yes, there is. There's children and I'm so freaking excited. So... We could come over to this park. We could actually come over here and, and maybe talk to some children. I know that sounds really weird, but we could possibly talk to some children. So let's play as our sea monster again. And she's feeling flirty because she had her shower. She, she had a steamy shower, not a thoughtful shower. She wanted a steamy one. So a steamy one is what we did. <gasps> Why is he feeling sad? Why is he feeling sad? Oh, he's on the phone. That's weird. But he's definitely feeling sad. Definitely. That's weird. All right, off he goes. So she's just finishing up with this painting, which is looking really snazzy and beautiful. Ivy, you're doing such a really great job. Look at her. She is so freaking cute. 
She's so stinking cute. I love her. So cute. So off she goes. She's actually going to go and um, play with a sea monster and, and talk to some children. 300 bucks. Go Ivy. Awesome work. Awesome. So she's going to play as some sea monster. And she's possibly going to do a friendly introduction to Miss Elsa. She reminds me of the frozen chick. <laughs> so cute. Oh, here comes Olivia. We were actually really good friends with Olivia. I'm pretty sure we're always friends with Olivia. Everyone's always friends with her. Bright in her day. We're actually feeling quite hungry. But that's okay. We'll all grab something to... Oh, okay. She's just ran off. Okay, I guess we'll talk to this dude here. And we want to talk to... Do we not know Olivia? That's not Olivia. Where's Olivia? Oh, there she is there. Ha ha ha. Hi, Olivia. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, I love her. Show off our outfit. Talk about our dreams. And discuss interests. Brighten her day. Already goes so good afternoon or good evening I should say. It is currently 6 p.m. and Ivy has just finished talking to the children. She's feeling pretty dang hungry, so we're actually gonna send her home. And uh we're gonna grab something to eat from our little uh fridge that we have. Yeah, the little fridgy fridgy midgy. Get off your phone, please. And she is going to wash her hands. And she is going to we don't have a have a have a stove. Okay. Um, we are going to serve some garden salad again, and we're going to lock door for uh, everyone except for Ivy, because we don't want like any kids coming in here, because kids will tell, kids will tell, you know, are you going to eat your salad? Awesome. <gasps> Who's at our door? It's Olivia. Well, I'm sorry, Olivia. You're gonna have to go home. It's it's nearly 10, 10 p.m. Sorry, you can't come come and play games. All right. <laughs> She's like, you want to play peekaboo with me? I think I do. <laughs> she is actually feeling pretty tired, so I'm actually gonna have her nap for a bit. Um, nope, Dina, go away. <laughs> go away. So I think we're actually going to head out um pretty soon. Alrighty guys, so good evening. It is currently 11 p.m. and Ivy is actually at her old house. And you guys are probably wondering, this is really, really risky. And you are probably right. But for the most part, Ivy wants to come back and she wants to spy on her mother a little bit. And by that, she wants to, you know, she just kind of wants to spy on things and see how things are actually kind of going. <gasps> oh my goodness, don't go that way, Ivy. Don't go that way. Who is this? Oh my freaking goodness. You guys. <gasps> Who is this lady? Is this? <gasps> it's Kara, guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, we, we totally can't, um, is there a tree we can hide or behind or, or something? Can we like go over here? Oh my freaking gosh. Oh, guys. Oh my goodness. Who is this? Who is this? Whose baby is this? Did you guys see that? Oh, guys. It must be... Kara must have had a baby. Oh, Kara must have... Oh, my goodness. Who's this? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Okay. We need to... We need to freaking book it over here real quick. Shit. Go Ivy. Oh my goodness. Let's just come back over here. <gasps> what? Oh. What? This is weird. Weird happenings. 
Oh, no, don't you go over and get involved, Ivy. Don't. So it looks like they're arguing. Freaking heck. Wow. So Kara isn't in a relationship with Bobby now. Like, or maybe she is. Maybe, maybe they're just kind of on rocky terms. No, don't go and speak to Bobby. No. Arthur Mendoza. Oh. <gasps> It's her brother, guys, or her stepbrother. This is freaking weird. Um, let's come and talk to the baby real quick again. Wow. Wow, guys. Um, let's cuddle the baby. I need to get a screenshot of this. This is gorgeous. Look at this. <laughs> you guys, it's just breaking my freaking heart. Guys, oh my goodness. Ivy is really happy. Oh, so cute. Okay, I think we are going to, I think we've seen enough here, guys. We're going to travel back on home real quick. Um, so we now know that uh, Kara's had a baby, either to Bobby or Mortimer. So we now know that Mortimer is kind of seeing Kara, I would presume. But that was actually quite eventful. Um, yeah, wow. Freaking heck, guys. I wouldn't expect that. Wow. So we saw Kara. Oh, my goodness. I, I don't know what's actually happened. What do you guys think that's happened? I mean, we saw Bobby. Um, We saw Bobby and Kara fighting. We saw Mortimer. And we've seen our brother, I guess, or our stepbrother. I mean, I don't freaking know, guys. What do you think's actually happening? Wow. That was really interesting. I freaking knew that Mortimer was in on it. I freaking knew it. <laughs> I freaking knew it. I freaking knew it. See, she's feeling sad again. Mm, poor baby. She misses her mum so freaking much. And now that she's seen her mum, she kind of is like, oh, maybe my mum's changed. She looked like she'd kind of gone back to her old ways when my dad was around. Because Kara always um, dressed, you know, like exactly the way we just saw her before. And, um, you know, she'd always have her hair down and she'd always be so happy and fun and funky and bright with jewellery. And, oh, it's just so too much. But I think we've done the right thing, you know. Wow. This is really freaking intense, you guys. So... I don't know. I really don't know. So Ivy's creating really great simoleons right now. She's feeling pretty uncomfortable due to the dirty surroundings, but that's all right. We'll fix it up soon. Oh my goodness. Coffee is so good. I haven't had a coffee for like three or four weeks. I know. I know. I'm trying to limit my coffee use. Well, coffee use. My coffee intake. <laughs> so that was freaking awesome. We managed to go home without being spotted. Oh, I really, like, Ivy, I reckon would have loved to have gone into her old room. But that was a bit too risky. A bit too, too risky. I mean, we don't know if Kara stays home all day, every day, you know. So we can't kind of, um, we can't kind of gauge if, if she would be home and if we'd get spotted. So that's a bit too risky. I keep seeing this guy around, but he's not a teen, he's an adult. He's actually a really good looking Zimbo. Um... <laughs> we'll talk to the plant. Why not? We'll t um, she's just going to throw away her garden salad. Oh, that was still intense, you guys. I feel like there's going to be drama happening very soon, though. What if Ivy stole Arthur, you guys? What if Ivy stole Arthur? Oh, that would be so much drama. She's just talking to the plant, which we can do now. So that will bring her social skill up without actually us having to talk to someone, which is freaking awesome. I think is just such an awesome thing. <laughs> She's so cute. Okay. So last but not least, I would like to go and give Ivy some wallpaper. And then we'll go ahead and wrap up this part right on here. Hmm, that's nice. I think I'm going to go just for this for now. 
Because I feel like she would be the type to, I don't know, have something like that. Yeah, totally. And we'll do the outside of the house as well because, um, hello, Ivy deserves it. All right. And we'll also give her a roof because, hello, I honestly forgot last part to do a roof. <laughs> and this house has no dimension to it at all. But it is something, you guys. And 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 right now, coming from nothing, um, you know, in, in terms of how Ivy would be feeling, having a roof over our heads to call home is so freaking much. And she's got so much to be grateful for. So freaking much. So really proud of her. Really proud of her. Really freaking proud of her. And I know that... Um, I know that if, you know, situations were different with Kara, I mean, Kara would be proud of her too. But obviously they're not. They're not, they're, they're, you know, it's, 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 it's quite obvious that she does still have a temper on her. I mean, we saw she was literally going ape at Bobby for no particular reason. Well, might have been a reason, but we're, we're not sure. We're not sure. We can only imagine what she would have been possibly saying to Bobby. So that is a thing. And I'm really freaking proud of Ivy. As I said before, I'm so freaking proud of her. I'm so freaking proud. So I want to get some windows going on here. Um, I think I just want um, some small windows right now. Um, like maybe these ones right here. Um, just enough to, you know, just to have something going on. Um, I think I might put like a little window over here. And I think I'll put like a long window or something along here and you guys this house is just starter like is just starting to look awesome you know it's just starting to take shape and it's definitely starting to look more like home and um in terms of how i want it to look i have no freaking idea so yeah awesome so that is awesome i freaking love it so yeah this is the start of something awesome for her um, so yeah, this is the house. It's nothing special, but it's something, okay? It's something. So anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this part right on here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you guys would like to. And I will see all of you lovelies next time. Bye, guys.